Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry if there's any shadows. Um, my room's quite dark. Um, so I have come on to do a mini, really mini little AliExpress style haul, haul that I did. Um, a lot of these are from KF Craft. Actually, I think all of these are actually from KF Craft. So the first thing I got was this butterfly um, die. This is what it looks like, and then you've got the layering piece, and then all these layer on top as well, which is really, really pretty. So I guess you could use this without this, so you could use that instead, and then you've got your little butterfly bit there. So it's a really cute die to have. So you've got that one. It's easier to take them out than it is to put them back in, that's for sure. There we go. <laughs> then we've got this one, which is a kite die. This is so cool. You can Again, you can use this for loads of things, but this is a mini album. Oh, there's a rip in it. It's fine. It's going to be put away anyway. So it's like a little kite die, and you've got the middle... And again, you can use this for an album. Um, you've also got another butterfly. This says Journey. Yeah, Journey. And then, I think this is Up. Up. It reminds me of the um, film, the cartoon. So yeah, so that goes in there like that. And then you've got these, which you can have for your string. And it just makes a little cute album. But it can also be... Um, used as an embellishment as well um do i have anything so i've made this obviously i need to decorate it but obviously you can use it to decorate stuff and you could even make this into a card so so many different ways that you could use this die so i will be coming on um because i will be doing a die a week so I will come on and share that and what other ways we can use the die. I will put that away in a sec. <coughs> then I've got this die. This is a ruffle die. Like you fold in the edges. So that's a really cool die to have. This is the smaller version, but they have a bigger version, which I have um, got in my basket. So it will be ordered at some point. Then we have this bag topper, which is a handbag. You just fold it over and then you've got the handle. I'm not going to get this one out because it's quite a simple one. Then we have a beehive album. Again, this can be used so many times. You can even use it to make a card. So you've got loads of bees. You can use... Then this is the album, and these you can use to make your pockets and stuff. And it has several layering pieces. So you got one. So you got the main base. Then you got this bit here, and you got your layering pieces. I'm not sure what the circle is for, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, this is the mini album. Um. And then obviously this is another layering pin and that will kind of go on there. But again, you can make a card using this um, die and stuff like that. So that is another really cool die to have. Then I have this die and this makes a craft caddy. And then obviously you could, this is a bag topper, you can put them on your stuff you make and then you can add them to your craft caddy. Again, this is a really cool die to have and I will, it is on the internet a lot, but I will come on and make this in my own style and see how it looks. And then the last die is this adorable bear jelly tote. Oh my god, as soon as I saw this, I had to have it. It's so stinking cute. Okay. So these are your sides, 
And you got here, you got all your face and stuff, you got a little bow to add to like the ears, or you got your little dicky bow to add to the bottom as well. The circle I think is for the mouth. Again, such a cute die to have. Obviously these will go on the sides and you'd make two. So yeah, that is so stinking cute. One would probably be for the bottom as well, I'm not sure yet. But another really adorable die to have. So exciting. Also, when you cut this out, if you cut over the lines, you could probably get rid of this um, line bit here as the jelly totem. Again, make it into something completely different. You could probably even make an album using this die. Um, again, you could just trace around it. So, yeah, that is my very, very mini haul and my several ways of how to use this die. But again, um, the die a week um, challenge is literally to try and see, to pick a, one die for that week and try and use it in as many different ways as we can. So that is the whole idea of that. So this will go to my collection of dies I already have, ready to use. And I hope you all have an amazing Saturday. Well, you won't see this Saturday, actually. But for me, it's Saturday. So I hope you have an amazing week and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.